satellite availability and GPS coverage. To talk about satellite availability, we need to go to menu and your receiver soft key. In this case, a Starfire ITC. The info, setup, and buttons at the right is what we we'll use today. First you can see I'm on SF1. My accuracy level is good, my signal is good, and my diff signal is at an 8 dB. My latitude, longitude, altitude, course heading, and speed are located here. Let's look a little deeper of what's going on in the sky. Hit the 8 soft key at the right. This will give you your sky plot. Your sky plot shows you what satellites are in the sky and what kind of signal you're getting from each one of them. At the left, you'll see the satellite ID, elevation, signal noise ratios, and the azimuth. This indicates to you if it's north, east, south, or west of you. In this case, satellite 2, 12, and 4 are almost directly above me. Satellite 5 is is on the south of the tractor, nearing the horizon. Satellite 27 just dropped on the edge of the horizon and went into tracking mode, and now it's back. So satellite 27 is borderline. 23 just came around the orbit, and I'm now searching for it. If I travel back to F and set up, and turn the feature optimized shading off, but see the difference. H, now I still have 27 and 23, but they both went into search mode. Optimized shading allows you to utilize satellites at the edge of this ring, which can sometimes decrease GPS accuracy. The number that you want to look at is your PDOP. VDOP and HDOP. Your PDOP is your position dilution of position. The lower the number, the better. In this case, we have a PDOP of 